in January 2006, at the Los Angeles Auto Show, GM Corporation announced the release of 12 cars on the new GMT 900 platform during the year. The first of this series were the third-generation Chevrolet Tahoe and GMC Yukon. In March, their production began, and in April, new cars of the 2007 model year went on sale. The car had a new streamlined body with smooth lines and reduced gaps between the panels. The exterior mirrors and roof racks were also shaped to reduce air resistance, and new door seals reduced noise at high speeds. The body was painted in colors of nine shades. The new closed section frame had 49% greater torsional rigidity, and its special variable height shape lowered the vehicle's center of gravity. The hydroform front of the frame has been optimized for frontal impact, also with smaller vehicles. The Tahoe was the first car to feature a new branded front end. A large golden Chevrolet butterfly with a silver frame was located on a wide-body colored strip that divided the radiator grill in two. The all-new interior, with exquisite finishes, had improved noise isolation through the use of new foam sound-absorbing materials. Three rows of seats were installed inside the car, the front ones were electrically adjustable and heated, the rear ones, on request, could also be heated. The third row of seats consisted of two or three separate seats which could be easily removed to increase the volume of the trunk. Luggage was accessed through the rear door, which could open automatically or through a roll-up rear window. The second row of seats folded, and, for a surcharge, it could be equipped with an automatic folding system. After pressing a button on the instrument panel or the middle pillar, the second row seats fold automatically, freeing access to the rear seats. The steering wheel was tilt-adjustable, and an electrically adjustable pedal assembly could be installed on request. To facilitate entry and exit, the car could be equipped with an automatically retractable footrest. On request, cars could be equipped with a system for remote engine start and interior heating. The multimedia system of the car had a CD, MP3 player and 8 speakers, an optional touchscreen navigation system and a DVD player with a large 8-inch screen for passengers were installed. The safety system included the following new features, front airbags with two-stage deployment, side airbags that are triggered when the vehicle is rolled over, in which case they remain inflated longer and front seat belts with pretensioners that react to a rear impact as well. In addition, the car had tire pressure sensors, rain sensors, ultrasonic rear parking sensors and an optional rear view camera. All models were sold with the built-in 6th generation OnStar emergency alert system. When the airbags deployed, it automatically sent a signal to the rescue service. The system was also used in car theft engine and transmission. The cars were equipped with 8-cylinder V-engines GM Vortec of the 4th generation with a working volume of 4.8 liters and a power of 290 horsepower LY2, and a working volume of 5.2 liters and a power of 320 horsepower LY5. The engines were longitudinally front-mounted, had a cast-iron cylinder block and an aluminum overhead valve OHV, 2 per cylinder, with hydraulic lifters in their drive for a 5-liter engine. Fuel injection, distributed phased ignition with individual coils for each cam. In 5-liter engines, to save fuel in certain road conditions, the engine management system turned off half of the cylinders. This happened by stopping the supply of pressure to the hydraulic compensators of the valve drive. Disabling the cylinders occurred almost imperceptibly, and when additional power was required, the cylinders were connected again. The 5-liter special equipment, LMG, engines could run on a mixture of gasoline and E85 ethanol. The GMC Yukon all-wheel drive vehicles were equipped with a new 5.3-liter engine, LC9, with an aluminum cylinder block, running on both gasoline and E8 biofuel. All cars, both Tahoe and Yukon, were equipped with an electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission. The shift lever was located on the steering column to the right of the steering wheel, as is common in American cars. By request, the rear axle could be equipped with a lockable differential. Chassis Wider front and rear track significantly improved the stability and handling of the car. The all-new independent wishbone front suspension, the upper of which was made of steel and the lower of which was made of aluminum alloy, used springs as elastic elements instead of torsion bars, as was the case before. In the rear spring-dependent suspension, four trailing arms and a panhard rod were used as a guide vane. All shock absorbers, both front and rear, were single tube. The cars used three types of suspensions, regular, ZW7, suspension with variable stiffness rear springs, Z71 and active suspension Z55, auto ride, with electronically controlled shock absorbers. 
In the upper part of the active suspension shock absorbers there was a pneumatic element, which made it possible to maintain a constant ground clearance of the car. For the first time on cars of this type, rack and pinion steering with hydraulic booster was used. Steering gear ratio, 17.75, the number of turns of the steering wheel from lock to lock, 3, turning radius along the track of the outer wheel, 11.9 M. The brakes of all wheels were ventilated discs, in front with two pistons, discs with a diameter of 330 mm and a thickness of 30 mm, at the rear, with one piston, discs with a diameter of 345 mm and a thickness of 20 mm. All cars were equipped with Bosch's 8th generation anti-lock braking system and the Stabilite Track Stability Control System, which has a special rollover prevention algorithm. All cars were fitted with steel or aluminum wheels measuring 17x7.5 as standard, but it was possible to order aluminum wheels with dimensions 18x8 or 20x8.5. Tire sizes 265-70 are 17, 265-65 are 18 or 275-55 are 20. Yukon Denali The flagship GMC Yukon Denali came standard with almost all of the equipment mentioned above. It had a completely new 6.2-liter 380-horsepower Vortec 6200 L92 engine with an aluminum cylinder block and variable valve timing. The engine was aggregated with a new six-speed automatic transmission. The box had electronic control, a wide range of gear changes and two overdrives. This created an excellent balance between the power and efficiency of the car. In addition, the box had a manual gear shift mode using a button on the shift lever. The car was equipped with auto-ride active suspension and 18-inch wheels made of polished aluminum. 20. Hybrid version. The main novelty of the 2008 model year were hybrid versions of cars, Chevrolet Tahoe Hybrid and GMC Yukon Hybrid. The hybrid drive consisted of electromechanical transmission, electrically variable transmission, EVT, battery pack, energy storage system, ESS, a special version of the Vortex 6000 LFA engine. In a single electromechanical transmission housing were 260 kilowatts electric motors, three planetary gear sets and four wet clutches. This combination of nodes allowed the transmission to operate both in the mode of stepless gear ratio change, and in the mode with a set of four fixed gears. Electric motors work well at low speeds, but quickly lose efficiency with increasing rotational speed. Therefore, they were used for infinitely variable torque under light loads and at low speeds. With increasing loads, including clutches in various combinations, one of four fixed gears could be obtained. The control system, analyzing the movement of the car, chose the mode of operation of the transmission either on electric traction, or from the engine, or a combined mode. There were, as it were, two transmissions, continuously variable for operation in light conditions and with fixed gears for operation in difficult road conditions. When driving on highways at high speeds or during hard work with high loads, the electric motors were not involved, and the transmission functioned like a conventional automatic transmission. But, if necessary, Electric motors could add torque to the transmission or be used to charge batteries. Reverse has always been electric. The 300-volt nickel-metal hydride battery pack was located under the second row of seats, without taking up extra space or preventing the seats from folding. The battery pack was recharged from electric motors operating in generator mode, accumulated energy during regenerative braking and fed the electromechanical transmission. In addition to the transmission, the battery pack supplied electricity to the air conditioning compressor and, through converters, the 42-volt electric power steering and the rest of the car's 12-volt equipment. The durability of the battery pack was ensured by special charging modes, discharging, cooling systems and was 9 years or 100,000 miles, approximately 160,000 kilometers. The battery pack was protected from overcharging, overheating, access to high-voltage components and had a system to prevent acid leakage. Like all hybrid vehicles, the Tahoe and Yukon had a regenerative braking system. Using one or both electric motors of the electromechanical transmission in generator mode, the braking energy was converted into electricity and stored in batteries. The regenerative braking system worked in conjunction with conventional hydraulic brakes. Under certain conditions, such as prolonged low-intensity braking, the hydraulic brakes were not activated at all, but if necessary, the conventional brakes were applied and the car stopped. The anti-lock braking system and the stability control system have been adapted to the joint operation of the regenerative and hydraulic braking systems. 
An additional benefit of the regenerative braking system was reduced brake pad wear. The 6-liter engine was chosen to work in the hybrid car, as it has a more flexible torque characteristic. The engine was modified so that its intake valves opened later than usual, Atkinson cycle, which reduced pumping losses and improved the overall efficiency of the engine. In addition to this, the engine had an active fuel management system that turned off half of the engine's cylinders during light driving conditions. Another feature of the engine was the stop-start system. As soon as the car's speed dropped to zero, the engine would stop and remain off while the car was running on electric power. With a sharp press on the gas pedal, the engine was started again using the transmission electric motor. There was no conventional starter. To reduce aerodynamic losses, the appearance of the car was changed. The front and rear parts have become more streamlined, the rear pillars, lights, rear spoiler have been changed, the luggage rails have disappeared from the roof, the shape of the steps has changed. To reduce the weight of the car, the hood and tailgate, now with glued glass, were made of aluminum. In the cabin, new, thinner profile front seats were installed. In addition to reducing weight, they added 1.5 inches 38 millimeters of extra space for rear passengers. The spare wheel, jack and wheel wrench have been replaced with a quick tire repair kit. The cars use special lightweight 18-inch wheels with tires 265-65 or 18 with reduced rolling resistance. Changes On all cars of the 2008 model year, side airbags began to be installed as standard. To improve aerodynamics, the appearance of the cars has been slightly changed. The main novelty of the 2009 Tahoe vehicles was the installation of 5.3-liter engines, LC9, previously used only on Yukon and 6.2-liter engines, L92, from Yukon Denali. Both engines were aggregated with a six-speed automatic transmission. In turn, Yukon Denali received a new engine, L9H, with 403 horsepower. The third row of seats has become triple for all cars. The multimedia system has got Bluetooth and a new navigation system. There was a blind spot monitoring system on the sides of the car, a new rear view camera. The 8th generation OnStar emergency warning system began to be installed on all cars. There were new colors of the body and interior wink with the frown 26, 27. Versions of cars with reduced fuel consumption, extra fuel economy, began to be produced, Tahoe XFE and Yukon XFE. They had a self-locking differential and a final drive ratio reduced to 3.08, lowered to reduce air resistance, suspension, aluminum, including spare, wheels of less weight and tires with reduced rolling resistance. Starting with the 2010 model year, 4.8-liter engines and 4-speed gearboxes were no longer installed on cars. All remaining engines have gained the ability to run on a mixture of the 85. A two-stage transfer case appeared, which could be installed on request. The multimedia system has acquired a USB connector. The updated OnStar 8.2 generation system was installed on Yukon Denali vehicles. The Yukon Denali hybrid was born, bringing a new level of comfort to this type of vehicle. The 2011 model year saw new body colors and a special trailer brake controller added to the towing package. Hybrid vehicles began to install the new 9th generation OnStar system and new rear seat headrests. On cars of the 2012 model year, a new multimedia and navigation system was installed. The stability control system could now steer the trailer and help when starting uphill. Blind spot monitoring system around the car became standard on all Yukon Denali. On 2013 model year vehicles, the transmission brake, which uses engine resistance when descending a mountain, began to be applied automatically, previously only manually. There are new shades of body color. 